What's up guys, Handish here with another Destiny video and today the tricks and treats inside of Destiny haven't quite come to a close. So this has been circulating online for a few hours now, but you can actually wave heavy ammo off inside of the elimination game mode. So as you can see right here, we're on the third round. We've gone to where Heavy should spawn on the Cauldron map, but Heavy is not appearing. So the way this is achieved is that all players on both teams need to wave. And you actually need to do this on any of the rounds before Heavy Ammo spawns. So if you do it on the third round, Heavy Ammo will already be counting down and it won't work. So if you do it at the very beginning of the match or in the second round, for example, this will work. And like I said, you do need everybody on both teams to wave and you won't have Heavy Ammo spawn in which is pretty cool. Also you get a note on the side of the screen that says the air around you crackles and burns which is pretty interesting. So this definitely seems to be tied to the Halloween festivities that we've seen inside a Festival of the Lost. Of course we had spooky trials last weekend and I don't believe anyone actually worked out that this was a thing on that weekend. So it could be the case that it doesn't work inside of Trials of Osiris but I don't think this is very likely to be the case because of course spooky trials was the thing at the weekend so presumably it was intended to be inside of Trials of Osiris. Also, what we don't know is whether this is going to go away or remain to be a thing. Personally, I think they should keep it in. You know, everyone will get to know that this is a thing, and if you don't want to play heavy, everyone can wave, and it will work. You know, to take it away now would definitely infuriate a few people, and with the whole Festival of the Lost thing going on, and people getting annoyed about the Sparrow broom and all of that kind of stuff. Bungie, don't take it away. It's a bad move. The salt will be raining in. Certain players will absolutely utilize this, I have no doubt. The only reason that Bungie might take it away is for some kind of balance issue that they perhaps would find with it, you know, if everyone waves apart from one guy and that might kind of throw people off or cause more arguments than just not having the option to do it. You know what I mean. Um, but either way, we'll see. I'm all in to keeping this thing inside of Trials of Osiris. So I actually saw this initially on on Reddit this morning. I was going to jump in and try it out. Turns out Morning After Kill did make the first video about this and pretty much announced it to everybody. So big props to him for that. But I just wanted to share it with you guys because of course we do quite a bit of PvP stuff here on the channel. So that's pretty interesting. Also, here's some potentially useless information. While we were in trying this whole thing out, we thought what would happen if we all jump on the capture zone inside of an elimination match. And we actually found out that if you're closer to the pole in the very middle of the capture zone, you will uh, actually win the round, even if everyone was in there. Um, someone has probably already worked this out. It is generally not the most useful information, but we're all about facts, so there you go. So anyway, guys, I hope you did find this video useful and interesting. Let me know what your thoughts are below in the comments section. If you're new to the channel, feel free to hit subscribe for a lot more Destiny and Rise of Iron content, but for now, have an awesome day.